of peace is coming. It is so far. It is so very far. Angels in chorus singing. The child is on the way. Good news to of Christ. Herein lies the mystery. God come to earth as a baby. At long last, the fullness of time has come. The waiting, longing world sees the promise. God comes to us in a most unexpected way. The years of silence are over. Ancient prayers long whispered in dark rooms and on bright mountaintops are answered tonight in a helpless infant. Angel announcements, previously unseen stars in the heavens. Yes, in an instant the world has changed. Glory fills the air. Shepherds and kings, rich and poor alike, are drawn to the manger and are welcomed. Only God could have orchestrated this gathering. Now, under those stars, as Mary looked at her newborn baby, she could still hear the echo of the angel's greeting. Don't be afraid. You are highly favored. She was the recipient of God's grace, chosen to bear his son. And this little one? He was the Messiah, the Son of the Most High. Suddenly, Mary understood something she could not have understood before. Every question, every doubt, and every fear had one answer tonight, and he was right here in her arms. Is this a dream? Can it
announced to shepherds, a savior has been born. He is Christ, the Lord, the anointed one. Prophets, priests, and kings are all anointed. This baby is all three. He is the priest who brings us to the Father. He is the prophet who is the embodiment of truth. He is the king who leads the way. And he is Jesus, the sweet holy child born in a manger, come to deliver us from our sins.
from eternity past, Jesus was. Jesus, the one who would say, truly I tell you, before Abraham was born, I am. Jesus, the one who would say to the Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. He is the perfect child of heaven, the lovely, pure, gracious gift to humankind. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, Magi came from the east and arrived in Jerusalem asking, Where is he who has been born King of the Jews? For we saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. They were kings searching for the eternal King of all kings to pay homage to him and to bring gifts. They expected to find him in a palace or perhaps the great temple in Jerusalem. But instead, the star led them on until they came to the place where Joseph and Mary were staying with Jesus. There they entered, fell down, and worshipped him.
was a still, cold night when the mystery occurred. Now the answer to the question of every longing heart would be answered by the birth of a baby in a humble manger. The question, is there room enough for me? The answer would come in the poverty of a manger. There the lowly would find their welcome, for only in the ordinary surroundings of a stable would shepherds dare enter. And for those seekers who would leave their comforts to find the promise, the answer came. There is room for anyone willing to come. Yes, the Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and full of truth. So the Messiah came to us, and of all the titles, of all the descriptions by which we could know him, he chose the name Jesus, a name as common and approachable as anyone could imagine. The King of all kings, the Lord of all lords, was born in a manger. He was the baby who would be given the name above all names. He was the High and Holy One, clothed in human flesh. 
the author of life. He was the Savior, the Messiah. Jesus. You shall call his name Jesus. Bye.